staying with their belt sweaty. Five, four, three, two, To describe Sea Lab is to say that it is a place of wonder and exploration and observation. There are no other marine aquatic science programs in the United States funded through the public school system. We have been fortunate enough to approve uh, money through a grant to send 16 classes on a trip to Cuddyhunk. And the focus of this experience is to explore what an island is, to um, identify and become up close and familiar with indigenous flora and fauna. We're gonna ask that you stay in your seats until we get all tied up and your yes. papers tell you when it's time for you to go. Uh, but uh, we think you've been great on this trip. Good kids, we like it, and you're gonna have fun out here. Okay, see you in a few. We have 35 students here today, I believe, roughly 35. Um, and it's, you know, quite a mix, quite a mix of kids, but mostly um, kids that are excited to be here. Can you come fill in the folder? I don't think we get to get outside and explore too terribly much all the time. So I think everyone is just excited to get to walk around and be outside. And that, How many of you, this is your first time on Cutting House? Yeah, so I teach um, third through fifth grade special education. Um, and I think just making sure these classes are always included. I think sometimes classes like uh, mine can get left behind a little bit. Um, I know at least in our school we have a huge population of English language learners. So I think our school does an excellent job of making sure those students are included. Um, I know we have teachers on this trip right now that can speak various different languages. Um, but so far they've gotten to explore the beach area here on Cutty Hunk Island. Um, they are going to also see a one-room schoolhouse, um, which I'm sure not many of them have seen, um, and get to do some programming and activities up there as well. It's really great to get these kids kind of out of the city a little bit, out of just what they normally see every day, um, and get them outside and experiencing something different. They settle at the top of a mountain She basically had us crumple up a paper, and then she had us um, outline our land, water, and like the oh wait, the, where people stand. Yeah, where people. And like then stand. we had to look at it, and me, him. Carmen D and Kylie had yeah, to, to put them all together, together to see and, where the water flows, and then it goes. Through. And then he and then she sprayed it with um spritz, and it flowed down onto uh, a buzzard's bay thing, so it looks like um a presentation of what it would look like in real life. There are two bathrooms in the town. So during the academic year, from September to June, um, we have the privilege and the pleasure of teaching all New Bedford Public School fourth and fifth grade students. And the lessons we develop are hands-on. Uh, right now we're gonna probably draw a landscape Wait, I'm not done yet. or go crab hunting. I love going crabbing and I know how to tell if it's a boy or a girl. A male and a female green and if you look underneath, do you see the triangles underneath mm -hmm. them? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see how one is narrow? I knew it. And one is real wide. Mm -hmm. So wait. Yep. Yep, you got it right. Like I'm Gigi's bro, Gigi's. It is important for our children um, and for everyone's child to learn about the sea as well as the environment because they are the future. Science is included in a well-rounded education. It's my turn. I am capable of watching children who are nine-year-olds grow into young adults and go forward and really change the future of the city they live in and change their own future. So this has been 
the most marvelous experience for me as an educator. I wish I could spend another 50 years teaching and being a part of the Bedford Public School System. <laughs>